Xbox 360 versus PlayStation 3. Which of these heavyweights in the console world comes out on top? Coming up in the programme, we're going to delve into the minds of gamers in an attempt to find out the answer to the biggest question in the gaming world. I own an Xbox 360. I own an Xbox 360. I own a PS3. Yeah, I own an Xbox 360 and a PS3. Because there was games on both consoles that I wanted to play and you couldn't get them on the other. I chose the 360 because my friend had a 360 already um, and I never played on a PS3. I chose this one because most of my friends have got Xbox 360s and it's what they all use. I chose a PS3 because you get more for what you think. It's a Blu-ray player. It was normal gameplay and the Kinect. I didn't say Xbox Live, but yeah, so I don't use that. I use my console mainly for gaming, but also playing games. Uh, the, the main features I use from the Xbox is just mainly game gameplay, um, online play, and that's about it. I don't really use it for DVDs or anything. I play on online on the Xbox 360 the most, and uh, for the PS3 I play on the single player games on that console. Here's some footage from both the PS3 and the Xbox 360. This is Black Ops, the latest edition in the hugely successful Call of Duty franchise. The Xbox is on the left and the PlayStation on the right. See if you can see any difference in the graphics. I didn't do any research into the console before I bought it, mainly because I've used PlayStation before. I've had a PlayStation 2 and my brother's got a PlayStation 3, so I just thought I'd try the Xbox. Uh, the only research that I actually did was uh, just looking what games were out on which console and which ones uh, I actually wanted to play. Uh, I didn't really do any research into each console or which was thought was better or anything. I did consider getting the PS3 because they have uh, what we call exclusive games for like each console. So some games that I really want to play on are for just the PS3. I, I researched the console quite a bit before I bought it. The findings were it seems to be a more powerful console, even though most of the games don't show that. It's more reliable than the Xbox. An article from the Sun newspaper said a major online computing gaming system remained crippled yesterday, leaving millions of users fed up. The Sony PlayStation Network, used by up to 70 million gamers around the world, developed a fault late on Thursday. If you are a Sony Network customer and you've put your details into their website, then it's likely that those details have now fallen into the wrong hands. Things like your name, your address, your birth date, your login details, passwords, possibly your credit card details that we just heard. All of those have been taken by what Sony are calling an unauthorised person who managed to, to hack into their site over the period of a few days. I don't regret getting it, because I, I still play on it now, I'm playing on it right now. Um, there's, I only get specific games, I mean lo loads of games come out for it, but I only buy specific games. No, I don't regret my choice, I think it's the best console out at the minute. I think it's better than the PlayStation. No, I don't agree with my choice. Um, it's quite close, I think Xbox has sold the most. Out of the two that I think sold the most, I think it will be the Xbox. Well, I know the Xbox 360 did actually sell the most. 
I know that Xbox came out like a year before PS3. I'd probably say Xbox has sold the most just because just because of that and the fact that it's Microsoft. Yeah, for me, Microsoft always tend to make sure that their products are pretty damn good. An actual fact, this screenshot from a console chart website shows that the Xbox 360 has sold more consoles than the PlayStation 3, but it has been out for a year longer. If you look at the middle section displaying weekly sales, it shows that the PS3 has sold more units this week, so they're maybe starting to close the gap. Now with the Kinect coming out, because that's obviously a game changer, everybody will be buying, wanting to buy that, I think, so that will probably continue to sell more as well. I've not actually played on Connect or Move yet. Uh, I like to play on both, see what I like. Connect, it's probably the best gaming experience out at the minute. It's brilliant. The online experience for Xbox is, is pretty good. I mean, obviously, compared to PS3, you have to, you have to uh, pay for it. But it's like £40 for a year. And I think, overall, it's uh, good quality. Uh, the online experience of my console is good, but not as good as Xbox. Why? Because Xbox has more users. So what's the answer? Well, there is no answer. Both machines have good and bad points, and it really comes down to what you want from your console and on what your friends have as well. Because when you go online, you don't want to be Billy No Mates. Oh yeah, that reminds me. If you want to add me, my gamer's tag is 